I bought a camper, and not just any camper, but an old 1980s Nissan Vanguard. The plan was to wait for Hubs to get his visa, and we'd travel across Canada in it. I got a great deal on this thing. The engine was pristine. However, it needed a lot of cleaning. The stove is in working condition. Everything needs to be clean. And even came with a few surprises. There's something over there under the cushion. I had to get some gloves. Oh no! You could say it was a bit of an impulse buy, and Hubs cautioned me about buying an old camper. No, don't do it! Stop! It was my dream camper. I love it! My home on wheels. I can literally pull over and sleep anywhere. So. Or so I thought. It ended up needing a lot more work than I initially anticipated. Houston, we have a problem. I think this is gonna be a lot harder job than I thought. I think I bit off more than I can chew. But I was invested into getting this thing ready for a big road trip. Time passed and I eventually took it on a small trip by myself with the dogs. It's snowing in April? Interesting start. But the situation quickly started unraveling as I discovered some hidden disasters and I was suddenly left in the worst possible scenario. I'm not safe where I am. I don't know what to do. Yeah, a lot of unexpected turns uh, in, this, in this video coming up. You can fit a couple of dirt bikes on the back there it's got I was totally stoked when I found this camper for sale just down the road from my house it had only a hundred and twenty six thousand kilometers on it some cosmetic damage a bit of rust and a few bumps and bruises but overall the engine was perfect and I was sold the owner mentioned that previously there used to be a leak many years ago, but he guaranteed oh no. me it was all fixed. Oh no. There was notable water damage on the roof in many places inside. I'm no expert and maybe a bit naive, mixed with too much excitement. I didn't question further. Like, the most important thing is that it's running really good? Yeah. I hadn't been this excited and happy in a long time and was just so thrilled to start going on adventures. We got your camera away! <gasps> but first, there was a lot of cleaning to do. Note to anyone planning to buy a used camper, especially an older model. Unless you are planning to gut and rebuild it, do not buy anything that has a drop of water damage or any previous leakage. What you can visually see is not the extent of damage. I slowly started to uncover what was looking a lot worse than I initially thought. There's something over there under the cushion. I don't know what it is. It's over there. Actually, I don't know what it is. Gloves. I'm gonna have to get some gloves. I gotta have to get some gloves. Oh no! Yeah, when I took the bed off, this is all wet. Like it's actively wet. This is all. But with hubs soon coming, I thought perhaps we could make this a project together. This other side is also wet. It's all wet. It's supposed to be raining and possibly snowing and down to minus 15 again this week. With all of the snow blocking the way, I couldn't get the camper to our storage area. 
The entire camper needed to be resealed to protect it from further leaks, so I had to build a temporary shelter. I got a quote from the local RV place and it was over $1,500 just to do the ceiling. Labor in Canada is expensive and I couldn't justify paying that and thought, well, how hard could it be? I had a lot of time and the project might keep my mind busy. Hopefully you have a large enough tarp to cover the trailer. Now let's get moving on to our project. The fact is the whole process of fixing the back two side trims and roof trim took about a day and a half. Right, one down, three more to go. Wow, we're building a shelter. I got a few trees that I can tie it to here, but I have to go high enough. So if I'm down in there, those trees, it won't be high enough. So maybe I'll just get the ladder, but that's kind of sketchy. I got a drop there. So. The other problem being is I don't want the snow to fall on the tarp and that's going to come down eventually. I can't exactly say that I'm much of an engineer, but I am enthusiastic when it comes to these things and will always give it my best. There was a lot of things to take into consideration to build this temporary shelter and it was a bit tricky doing it all on my own. Ah, I made it. Oh, that's freaky, the ladder slipped a bit. All right, two down. Two more to go. Okay, we this side next because this side might have to come out a bit. Last tied to the tree and then the roof. Let's see, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just making this up as I go. It's the best way to do it, in my opinion. Uh, Jugar, this is what you call a jugar. So. Well, one thing's for sure. I certainly didn't know what I was doing and I definitely should have made a plan beforehand. It's stuck on the tree. Oh no. But just like any typical rosy adventure, I just sort of make it up along the way and kind of see what works. Okay, figure it out. Or what doesn't? Let's just say there was a lot of trial and error and what not to do. You still may have a problem. What I was worried about... The water is already pooling here, which is causing it to leak and drip down. Plan B. I don't know what to do. Unless I put something taller in the middle, like if I lean the ladder, ah, if I, when I park it in here, if I lean the ladder against the van, creating like a teepee and then it runs down the sides. Hang on to something. But it ripped right through the tent, or the tarp, which means that it has the potential of doing that on uh, all the sides. From this tree 
here. A few more tweaks and I finally started to figure things out and I got the job done. Beautiful. I did it. Here, turn to the roof. There you go. Uh, so I'm hoping that the shelter is gonna kind of make do and I can do the work that I need to do. Uh, I don't know if I really wanna be doing work outside uh, in these temperatures. Oh, it's a bit cold. Um, but I do want to go out and use my camper. So that means I have to seal the entire thing. And it's gonna take a while if it's that cold for the sealant to actually cure. So here is my jugar. Woo! Oh. Uh oh. sun is out which means it is a perfect time to start resealing my entire camper but first I have to scrape off all the gunk that is all around the seals and then after I can silicone it which I've never done before and I don't really know what I'm doing but uh, that's what YouTube is for so uh, I gotta take it out of this makeshift tarp and I'm going to bring it to the driveway here so I have lots of space and I can work in a nice beautiful sunny environment and this up here all has to be resealed i think the leak is coming in from one of these things this all has to be redone here are my tools for the job today i have to scrape off all the old silicone around basically every seal on the entire camper and i have to get off all the old grime so i'm using this paint thinner here to uh to do that and get the job done today and there's quite a bad uh area here um the uh what do you call this the i don't know what do you call that the ledge uh <laughs> it's it's starting to droop from all the there was a, a leak before so i had to scrape off all the old goo from there I'm cheap. I buy my tools at the dollar store. Oh, yeah, get all up in there. Yes, the gold. Good one. I had to put in a really strong silicone adhesive and kind of like jam it up there um, so it dries. Yeah. I thought this was gonna take like a day to do this, but uh, there's a lot. It's, I, I, I don't even know if I have to like get all up in there, like get those cracks and get all the gunk from the inside out. I like, this is taking me an hour just to do this one small bit. Oh boy. Right. So I have just watched a YouTube video and it's a bigger job than I thought. The problem I'm facing, the video said you have to take off all of these moldings and everything, take them off, clean it and redo. Like, I don't know if there's like a jugar, I can just like clean off the outside and seal this. I don't know if I'm gonna get a proper seal and it's actually gonna fix the leak. Do I really want to do that? Oh my gosh, this is a big job. This is a big job. So a little bit of good news. Uh, it seems like I didn't have to make my makeshift shelter after all because da -da -da -da, the snow has melted. So I can bring my camper down to, uh, we have a massive work shed down at the bottom here. And uh, I guess uh, I, I, sh I, I would have failed engineering class. Didn't, didn't work out the way I planned. <gasps> so, all right, now I just gotta, I think you could get down there, okay? Yeah? Are you asking me? Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at you. <laughs> yeah, Maj is gonna help me here. We can do this, yeah, the Maj. All right, ready? Yep, you do this. Just don't put your finger in front of the lens and we're good. Yeah, perfect. 
You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Despite yeah. the size, it's pretty easy to maneuver. Um, a couple blind spots, but. like a kitten. I still don't have a name for this thing. I'll spend some time, get to know them, you know. All the way up to the top so you got a good... <laughs> it's okay, you're good. Okay. Yes. So good news this Monday morning, I called the local RV shop and I kind of told them what was up and um, I asked them what to what extent I needed to really clean off uh, the old silicone and do I have to redo the entire thing? And they said, no, you can just scrape off a little bit of excess and uh, just, yeah, just be good, 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 good to go. Whee! Now I have to use clean thinner to go around all the surfaces and basically get off all the grime. It's kind of a tedious task and uh, kind of boring. Not uh, as sunny or nice today. It's a bit chilly, uh, but I think it's warm enough that I can stir up my silicone. All right, so I've got my little bowl of paint thinner here and that is just to, like once I get the silicone all up in there, then I gotta smooth it out. And so the YouTube video said I gotta use this stuff to do it. So. And then you gotta use the paint thinner so then the silicone doesn't stick to your... You got this. It's not so hard. <laughs> DIY. I have to seal every single thing, every little accessory around the camper because every spot is um, a place where water can seep into. So I wanna make sure that there are no areas left unsealed. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. It's a nice, kind of like a meditative process almost. I like it. Beautiful. Oh, uh, I think that means it's finished, folks. So, I guess that means I'm going to back it in for tonight. Boy, right, back at it again tomorrow. So, it's sticky <laughs> don't do what Rosie does I did a big mistake uh, I did not actually listen or remember what the RV guy said I could have sworn he said use paint thinner don't use paint thinner guys uh, I don't know if I have totally screwed this up and I have to redo the entire thing but I just spoke to my other RV guy who I was like oh how do you like my silicone job I use paint there he's like you used what he's like no nah, nah you're supposed to use dish soap and water paint thinner is gonna break the silicone down and uh, I think that's kind of what's happening because two days later and it's warm enough it should have dried by now but two days later and the silicone is still tacky and it's not it has not solidified whereas there are some other parts uh, where i did not use paint then i kind of just filled some holes and that is completely solidified solidified so in saying that i don't know if i have to now chip that, that off and redo the entire side and I was so proud of my work. Oh my gosh. I'm like, this is so fun. I'm doing such a great job. Yay. I see that. I guess, look on the bright side, I didn't finish the entire camper. So today I'm going to, I'm gonna cock 
this side of the camper and the roof and uh i guess i just have to wait a couple days uh i mean people watching this video are gonna be like oh my god what what an idiot like lessons learned people today i'm actually not going to use gloves and i'm going to sacrifice my poor skin um because it just it was not comfortable for me so no gloves five minutes later uh, i think this should be a video tutorial of what not to do by who is he use my fingers and then well it's it's drying now but my i use vinegar i use paint thinner i could not get the sticky silicone off my hands it's still kind of gross so i probably wouldn't recommend to not wear gloves uh now my hands stink so i'm learning a lot uh in better news the old uh, caulking seems to be getting a little less tacky. I think it's drying in this beautiful sunshine. So, fingers crossed, I don't have to redo this again. I still have to do this part, which uh, is going to be a little bit tricky. I have to find a few pieces of wood that are the exact size so I can pop it up. Uh, underneath that overhang to secure it and uh, allow the silicone to dry. We got lots of wood. Uh, it's just finding the correct size. Uh, well, this is my old van, by the way, Dewey. Uh, needs a little bit of work. Um, so that's why it's not running right now. So I have no idea how this happened. My caulking gun wasn't working, the silicone wasn't coming out. And then I realized uh, it punched a hole through the bottom of the silicone and it's just no longer working. So I'm gonna use this. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Oh, oh I'm gonna make sure the hole, so maybe we should put some more. Oh, fail. The whole, I don't even know where the cap went now. It's completely gone. This is gonna be a messy job. Oh. You should not do DIY shows. What not to do by Rosie. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, you can't really see over here anyway, so. It's very messy though. It's the messiest thing I've ever done. So much for keeping my hands clean. Oh, it's so hard to get all this out. It's so sticky! Everything is sticky! Alright, I think I'm done. Alright, I got Al here. He's one of my neighbors and he has so kindly uh, agreed to help me with the camper. And uh, he's a professional. <laughs> and actually we figured out that we don't really need the wood to jam up because we can just put up screws in the old place. So we are good to go. After, wow, entire camper is sealed. 
So up here I had a couple of lights. Um, these lights aren't even working. I've tried every little thing, they're not working. So, and I didn't have the actual cover for them. And I'm pretty sure there's some way that water can get in here. And I wanted to make sure there's no leaks happening at all. So, what you got? Just tape it. So the entire camper is sealed and officially waterproofed and ready to go on a big adventure. But it's looking pretty homely in here. Oh, it's a bit of a mess. Um, the tour. I'll have to give you the official tour. A lounge area here with my guitar. My beautiful handmade dream catcher. Zibit and my little book nook, my kitchen area, bathroom. Da, 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 da. I love it. My home on wheels. Yeah, the best part is that I drive right here and like I can pull over anywhere and just like come up and chill, sleep on my bed, sleep on my couch. It's leaking. What I thought would only take me a couple days actually took almost one month on and off to get the camper ready. It was pretty easy work, just tedious, and a lot of trial and error for someone doing this for the very first time. But I saved $1,500 and learned a lot of new things. It was also during this time that we got the bad news. They didn't approve his visa, and Hubs wouldn't be joining me. Ooh, 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 ooh. And it's full. Oh, it's full. It's full. Oh, didn't you say full? Okay. Well, that's not entirely accurate, is it? This was really hard to process. I had big hopes for him coming and doing this trip with me. It was devastating to receive this news after four months of waiting. I pretty much have a few weeks here in the camper just to kind of get myself back to feeling better and like a little bit more grounded. And then um, plan is to go back to Pakistan to see Hebsey. Uh, I'd go back before then, but I'm not not feeling 100 percent and so um yeah that's what this trip is for just to feel better because it's been four very freaking intense months um and yeah i mean i got this camper so i mean how's he can travel around and that's gonna be tough because i'm gonna there's a bit of uh grief in that feeling, a little loss that um, I won't get to enjoy it with him. But um, yeah, that's how that's how it rolls. So I did, I got the camper, so I want to make a little bit of use out of it before I park it for gosh knows how long. So that is the plan. <laughs> Planning to leave, I don't know what time tomorrow, sometime, sometime tomorrow. I uh, got a few more things to do. The plan is just to like hit the road. Hit the road, see where I go, uh, spend some time in nature, just spend some time chilling and uh, yeah, enjoying the camper life, the van life. Join me next week as I head off on my mini solo camper tour in hopes to find a bit of balance in nature. Things unfortunately end up taking a turn for the worse. I'm not safe where I am there. I don't know what to do. Find out what happens on next week's episode. Thanks for watching.